Hello guys, how you doing? It's Cole. Welcome to a video or a series I've been prolonged for about two years now. Um, it's a very, it's a touchy subject for me, but I still feel like in the long run things are going to work out for me. So I want to document this for myself personally, but also just to showcase and show to others that they can also achieve what I'm trying to do. So if you don't know, from the years of 2016 to 2021, I was at a professional Football Academy in Port Vale. They were a League 2 squad. I think they're still League 2 now. And unfortunately, I got released at the age of 16. Um, it was a very tough time for me, I'm not going to lie. Um, and a time in my life that I don't really speak about much. A time that's very challenging for me to actually accept. Um, and yet, overall, just not uh, the, the best of experiences. And me now, I'm 19, going 20 years of age, trying to make it as a professional footballer. And my goal now is to make it by 24 years of age. And for the first time in a long time, I'm starting to see progress, which I do believe I will actually reach that goal by the grace of God. And I thought, you know what? I need to document my road to success. I've been planning this for about two years. But like I said, mentally, um, I've been scared to post it. I've been worried to post it. Um, I'm not sure how it would be perceived or if I'd even maintain it if I'm going to be honest with you so I thought you know what I need to just go for it now and see where it goes where it takes me um yeah it, it, it's really it is a uh, it's a hard situation to talk about because obviously getting released by a club that you've been for such a long time is hard and the process around it about getting released isn't really spoke about enough in terms of you kind of left to yourself to do what you need to do and people have crumbled out like it's been a hard very very hard hard it has been a hard time for me i'm better now but when i first was released at the point where i i was genuinely contemplating quitting football and not doing football anymore it was it was very hard for me to take and i'd uh, more so my gcc's alongside that i just Got out of COVID and it was kind of the COVID was still going on. It was twenty twenty one. Um, I had issues with my family when I lost a family member. So all that kind of I don't know grew on me. Like it's still it's still hard and happy to talk about, but I still feel like as I'm nineteen now, I'm going twenty the twenty four twenty five season from that time until whenever I want to try and record and see how far I can get during that process. Um, and yeah, I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's been very hard, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like, me even posting this is really hard for me because I've posted this about, I've filmed this about three or four times now in the space of probably two years and I just I haven't the nerve to post it yet. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I might as well do it now. Um, as you know, I do football content, Liverpool content. I still want to continue that. Um, I still want to grow my name in YouTube because I want to do YouTube and football coincide into the professional on YouTube. Um, but I need to just start recording stuff now, documenting it because you never know what could happen by the grace of God. I do believe the Bible says it's got plans for us and I do believe it's got plan for me. As long as I stay on my track and stay to what I want to do, I will get there. And I do believe that by the grace of God, so I have to believe in that. Um, and yeah, let me, you know, me, give you, me give you a small backstory myself. Um, so as I said, I was at Port Bell for, what, six years, five years, five years kind of, um, for either 2016 or 2021. Oh, sorry, my camera rocked. But um, 2016, 2017, and the half of 2018 was a really, really good time for me at Port Vale. Um, I was originally a centre midfielder, but when I was there, they put me up a striker. Very, very good. I was scoring a lot of goals, enjoying it, really, really fun. And then um, in September of 2018 I sprained my MCL in a school game which is a part of the ACL and also your MCL which is the opposite side luckily it was my ACL because that would mean I would need surgery and it said it was my MCL meaning I would just be able to come back through rehab normal rehab going gym fixing strengthening my knee I thought this would last six months and it actually resulted in a two year period where for two years, I didn't play a single minute of professional, well, not professional, competitive football. Um, I trained for a bit before it hurt again. 
I didn't really come back until 2020, which was a year I thought I'd be my comeback year. But you know what happened in 2020? I'll get to that later on. Um, so, yeah, that's a hard moment for me. Um, like I said, mentally, it's a very hard thing to focus getting an injury, especially at an academy where, from a young age, you know the pressure's on you to succeed because there's literally thousands of kids who want your position. And unfortunately, that happened to me. Um, I got injured. And then when I got injured, I think they signed three other strikers. And like I said, these guys are my friends. I'm I like, I, I'm not, obviously not, I'm not as close to them now because obviously we've all drifted apart, but I'm so very good to them. But it just shows you the ruthlessness of football, especially in academy at a young age. And looking back at it now, I'm very grateful for it. So like I said, I still believe by the grace of God, I'll make it as a professional footballer. I have to believe that. I have to stand on that opinion and I have to keep the positivity flowing. I do believe that. But by them signing these players, um, drum injury was kind of a reality check for me that I need to know that when I do get to this level, I have to be prepared that it's not guaranteed for you, if that makes sense. I think as a child, you obviously you're a child playing football, I was very arrogant to the point where I honestly thought that, you know what, I've signed this club now, by 16 I'm going to be the first team playing in League 2, possibly League 1 because I got promoted. You know, a big club find me, I go to flipping Liverpool, oh, oh this big team play for England. Honestly, that's my, that's my mind. I was a 12, I was a 12 year old, um, 12 year old boy just dreaming. It sounds so, it sounds so, um, stuck up, like, oh, oh, this big shot. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to, I don't know. It's one of the memories of why I want to try and do this video, because getting ready isn't spoke about enough. I want people to know that it is okay, and you can still make something out of it. Like, I know some of my friends now who didn't, who got released, and now gone to university, have a life for themselves. I just never speak, man, honestly. But some people that I've played with and now professional, like full time professional, playing at leagues, you play at the club, playing at different clubs, and that literally is football. I can cry over it. I have cried over it. I've, I've been really sad about really, really down about the situation, but I can't let that define me. And I think for footballers too, that can't define you. One no or one setback can't define where you believe you should be. I am a firm believer that hard work, time and dedication gets you to where you need to go. Because I won't lie, since my since I got released, I've not been in that place where I'm training every single day, where I'm pushing myself harder. Because if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm scared. Oh, I was scared. I'm so scared now but not as bad as I was then because when I was at the academy, all this time, all this effort, all this energy, all this sacrifice that I put into it, and it all amounted to nothing at that time. Do you know what I mean? So it just scared me to think that I can train all this time and not get not get anywhere, and that's, that's a sad reality of football. But I don't know. I feel like right now I'm in a good position where even with this YouTube Grace, thank, gratefully, thankfully that it's actually gone well, better than expected. So it is still working somehow, I guess. So I am very grateful for you guys. Honestly, you guys don't really know how much you've helped me in terms of mental health because I won't lie. I think when I did get released, people who I knew were those friends or family did start to doubt me. I think there's so many different in, in a different in a, so many different lights. Almost like I'm this lazy boy who doesn't really care for anything. When that's not the case, I'm just very quiet when I need to be. So by doing this football, even just me screaming, watching Liverpool, I scream normally. But even the fact that I can record it and create a community where at, 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 at the time of filming, I'm on 1.7k subscribers. That to me just ridiculous. Like some people wouldn't think that's a lot. I get that. Hopefully I can grow even even bigger, even better. But the thing that 1.7 of you guys actually watch me and support me really does mean a lot. Especially 
um, how bad football has been in terms of, oh, this is boring me now. My hair's hanging out, yeah. Especially how bad football has been for me in the last couple of years. Um, it is comforting knowing that something is going right in my life, you know what I mean? So it, it is nice, I guess. So I do thank you guys for that. Um, you know what? I forgot to say, I'm, 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 ugh, I'm filming for 10 minutes. Wow, if you guys are watching, thank you so much. Leave a subscribe, channel at 2K. Hopefully, when this is out, I'll hit 2K, but I doubt it. So please, please, please go and subscribe. Um, but yeah, during this road to success, when I call it, I'm just going to document what I'm doing, whether or not that is me signing for a club, by the grace of God. Maybe some match reactions, not match reactions, match footage, me playing. Um, me doing other stuff, because I've seen pre-season, I want to try and play in some charity matches. Like some influencer charity matches, I've contacted a couple companies, or a couple groups, and hopefully I'm playing in that, so you'll see that as well. I don't know when this is getting posted, honestly. Um... But yeah, I think it's good that I create a platform, not just for myself, but for others too, that they know that getting ready to my academy isn't the be-all and end-all. I still want to make it professional, and I still think I can make it professional, but that's not always an option for people. Some people might want to move on and do their own life, go to university, get a job, do their own business, whatever, and I want to create a community where us ex-academy players... Um, or us release the company players can show that you can still do something with your life. Um, I've seen a lot of um, articles about players who are sadly um, taken on life as a result of not getting to academy, and not sorry, getting a U team scholarship or getting released from academy, which I honestly understand it because. I don't people understand when you are in that place, you are so heavily involved. You're training almost three, four times a week. Going to, like for me personally, I played against Man City. I played Wrexham. I played Nottingham Forest. And to me, that feels like, wow, you've made it. So to go from that position where you're so technically high up and technically you're not, that massive drop, it, um, it really can mess up your head because the dream you had in your head is over. And it's not a case where you can just bring it up in a second. You have to build yourself up and work hard, twice hard, even three times hard to get back where you were. So, unfortunately, I do understand why children have taken their lives because the fact that there's, there is a lack of support when you do get released, and that's quite unfortunate. That's why me doing this, I'm trying to showcase and show, you know, it is okay. So I want to create a community of I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know how this video is being perceived. If you think I'm being cocky or arrogant, I'm not sure if one person sees or a thousand will see or a million will see. I don't. I don't know. This could end up being a video that no one sees, and that's what I have to live with. But I hope people see this in a good light. That I'm trying to do this with the with the best of my ability, in the most harmless way possible, in the most sympathetic way possible, and. Um, in the hope that we can, I don't know, grow a community, hopefully. Um, but yeah, my goal is to make it professional by 24, and I speak it, speaking to being that by 24, minimum. By 24, minimum, I'll make it professional. That's minimum. So I can get it earlier, but by 24, minimum, I want to be a professional footballer at the highest level. I'm going to be growing and growing and growing, but it is down to me in the day. So. Yeah, I don't know. I hope this video is perceived in the best way possible. I know as people near you might think I'm being a bit arrogant or stubborn or self-centered. I get that. I'm prepared for that. This is why it's like the fourth time or third time filming it. Like I had this video filmed years ago, but I didn't know how people would take it. Do you know what I mean? So it's 2024 now. And yeah, like all oh, like, I'm nervous for this video to come out. So I don't know how people are going to take it. I keep saying that a lot, but I hope it's in the best possible way. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll be documenting my journey starting from the 24-25 season. Granted that I do sign for a football team. That's the first challenge you have to take. And go from there. But, yes, please let me know in the comments. No, you know what? I, if you want to comment down below, comment down below. Because 
Like I said, I'm quite nervous that people will see this video. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, also subscribe. I'm showing it 2K as a filming. Um, let me know if this is a series you want to see. I'm not sure if people are going to feel about this series. Yeah, I'm very nervous, but for the grace of God, it goes well. I love you all. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I said that. That's one thing, me personally, who has helped me get through this really, really difficult time. I know people don't believe in God. I understand that, but me, I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. And in my faith, I believe that's what's what's got me going for this for so long. So, yeah, that's it. I love you all. Um, not sure when the next video regarding this series will be, but we'll be soon, I guess, maybe. Month or so, maybe August or maybe July time, maybe June. I don't know, but you'll know by our community page. Or if you want to follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok, they'll both be in my description as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this. Hopefully, the series does go well, and by my target, I do reach where I want to go. But yeah, I love you all. God bless you. And I'll see you whenever. Okay, love you all. Peace.